What's up guys, Baker here. Welcome to part two, kind of, of this title plate. Today we're going over an, an advanced 3D title plate, kind of like this. And it'll look like this. And uh, it's kind of, it's hard to see, but it is in fact 3D. And it looks kind of cool, though. Kind of futuristic. And um, yeah, let's jump right into it. So. Once again, we're going to have like pretty much the exact same clip, uh, and it goes in Twixters, right about there. So again, we're going to make a new separate composition for this. So we'll call this, uh, you know, Title Plate 3D, and uh, whatever, Poundy, okay. So first, we're going to go to View and Show Rulers. So kind of like in Photoshop, we have these little rulers and guides, and uh, that can help us create some cool designs. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on this left ruler and drag to the right and it makes a vertical ruler. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put one there and you'll see why I'm doing this in a second. But, uh, basically, I'm just going to be uh, making a few of these. Well, let's see here. Okay, okay. Not too bad. And then we'll pull one down here. Just kind of follow this. Um, it's kind of hard to explain exactly what I'm doing until you actually see the uh, the final edit thing. But yeah, right, let's see here. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, I need one more. There we go. And then that looks okay. I think. Now let's take this one right there. Sorry if this is awkward, but you will see what I'm doing in a second. So once we've got this uh, interesting design, you have no idea what's going on. We're going to uh, lock the guides and then take off the rulers. So we get this. So we're going to make a new solid. Go ahead and make it white. Take your pen tool, and we're just going to kind of draw some shape thing so I guess just kinda follow this again I apologize if uh, this does not make any sense but it's not supposed to it's just supposed to uh, you're just supposed to do it just do it to get this kind of shape that's basically what I was going for you just use some guidelines to uh, help your, uh, your pen tool and stuff okay so we can turn off the guides me. No. Lock guides. Show guides. There we go. Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh just kind of center this up a little bit. And go ahead and uh move the anchor point with the pen uh pen behind tool. Right about there. Okay. Cool. So what we're gonna do is kind of make the little outside edges. So we'll duplicate this once. First let's call this uh main plate. We're going to duplicate it, Command or Control D. And we're going to go to the mask, so MM. And we're going to extend this mask about 20 pixels. And then we'll click on the mask, duplicate the mask, and on the mask 2, subtract it, and bring this down to about, I don't know, 15. So what that did is make a little outline of the same basic shape as our title plate. Okay, so what we're going to do here is duplicate this, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six times. So we're going to, we'll call this edges, and then we'll start duplicating. Six. Okay, so the first one, so this, we want to basically cut out the top left. So, kind of make a, oops, make sure your layer is selected. Kind of make a, a box. The more straight, the more nice it'll look. And then we need to go to uh, MM and change the mask 3 to intersect. And that basically cuts off just that part. Sweet. So again, do that for your other ones. So this one, we can do uh, this bottom left one. Just kind of draw a little box. MM and intersect. Okay. And do that for your other ones. Have it selected, 
and just go around and, uh, and then pick out the little pieces you want. Pretty cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this really quick. I hope this doesn't take too long. Intersect. Hmm. Layer selected. There we go. And draw across. MM intersect. And last one. Boom. And intersect. So what we got now is that cool design. And um we'll take the main plate and we'll add a fill to it. And we'll make this uh kind of like a medium gray. Just to differenti differentiate the, the colors a little bit. And we'll take this and we'll go to layer, layer styles, inner glow. And then we'll go to inner glow down here, make some room. We want the blend mode to be normal. And then just increase the size. And what that does is kind of gives it a little faded, edgy look. So let's make this uh, white. Can I see that? Let's see here. It's that edge glow, yeah. A little different, but cool little effect. And then we'll just uh, bring in our text here. So, text tool, type in uh, X Baker X HD. Change the font and change the color. That looks pretty cool, right about there. And then I'll just. Uh, Get another text, go down here, and then presents. And then there's kind of off center that. And there we go. Now the cool part is this is all 2D, so let's make this 3D. So we'll toggle the switch and turn all these layers into 3D layers. So we can take the uh, the title, the actual title, push P for position, and then just offset these, make bring these forward a little bit. So maybe like negative 100. And this one, negative 100 on the Z, so that brings it forward. Okay. So maybe the edges, we can bring uh, this top one, we'll bring that one forward to negative 100. Um, the bottom one, we'll bring that to negative 100. Um, maybe the these other edges, you know, offset it in the back. So maybe a positive 50, you know, just... Uh, Kind of offset these however you want, and then so what this does is if I go to custom view, I can't really see it. Yes. Well, what happened? Well, it's it's because of the layer styles it doesn't show, but basically we make a, a 3D thing. So in your clip, we'll go ahead and bring in our title plate 3D, and we get this, and this it looks it looks pretty nice when it's normal like that so maybe we can lower the opacity to 75 or something and let's scale it down to, to 50 percent you know you can put it up right here or maybe make a little speech bubble or something but um I like to set it to uh, I used add last time so that, that looks pretty cool look at that and uh, you want to put this in a dark area because again it's not going to show up in a light area so maybe down here or just on top of the guy that's where I had it and um, what you want to do is make your title plate 3D, a 3D layer itself, and then push the collapse transformation uh, button, the little sun looking thing. And what that does is it preserves all the attributes inside of here. So that means we have to go back and change all these, touch those transfer modes to add. And then we'll go to our Twixter clip. And something something bad happened. What the hell? That's not good. Hmm. What the hell is this? Oh, I know why. Because it's black. Your text. Sorry about that, guys. Let's make your text bright white. There we go. And then maybe the uh, the actual title plate. We can bring the. Uh, the color down to like a uh, pretty dark gray. There it is. And then so, okay, so now we got this 3D object. So, sorry about that. Figured it out. Okay, so 
collapse transformations, make sure everything is set in here, it's 3D, all set to add and stuff like that. And then what we can do is push R for rotation and then set a keyframe for the Y rotation. So right when it stops about here, keyframe, move forward and set in a keyframe. Again, first keyframe, let's just kind of hide this, see how it's like actual 3D like that? Pretty interesting, so I'll just kind of hide it about there. And then we'll just trim the clip like that. Or you can just push Alt, alt begin bracket. So, not there, and then boom. And then we can also add some wiggle. So push P for position. Alt click on the stopwatch and just type wiggle. Let's do 0.5 seconds. I want to move comma 5 pixels. So that will just kind of move the actual thing like it, as if it was like floating or something. So pretty cool. And that's about it. You can change the uh, the colors if you want. But um, that's how you make 3D layers with the masks and stuff. And then yeah. So again, if you make it an edit and use this, then uh, video response. I'll check it out. All of that cool stuff. Uh, Baker's Tuts. <clears throat> Go check that out. All my tutorials will be on there. Trying to get partnered, so I'd appreciate it if I can get some more subs. And that's about it. So peace, guys. Have fun.